Hey, Jesse. Hey, how are you? What brings you around? Just hanging out. Good to see you. Sorry, Good I couldn't too. get in that way. Yeah, that's usually not the way we come in, so I can see where that was a bit of a problem. You All have right? a nice office. I like your office. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, you've got some good stuff. Was, well, you're right in there, so. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much, I feel like I forced my way in because I gave I, I gave you the picture, so it was like bound to. It was a big invitation, but it's it's a nice picture. Yeah. <laughs> As a kid, are you growing up and you're saying to yourself, this is, I'm going to be a chance. To... No. I, I suspect those people don't uh -huh. exist. Yeah. What is all this? Can you run me through some of them? Well, you know, the upper shelves that I never reach are uh, books mostly from, uh, you know, the Pitt uh, Press or from our faculty. You haven't, how many of these have you read? I, I, I not very many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this actually uh, is a 3D printed figure. Is that you? Of me, yeah. <laughs> so you're this, like, perfect balance of famous. Right, where like you, right, I mean, where you you walk between Forbes and Fifth, and everybody knows who you are. But if you go to San Francisco, if you go to Sixth, that's all right, over. If you go to right. that's famous or just being known, because uh, you know. well, in the Pitt universe, you're famous. Well, no, it's just no. A, it's a visible <laughs> For the job. Term, no. It's a visible it's a, job. <laughs> show me, can you show me more? Sure. I just, I'm yeah. very curious. Your living room, dining room, and then uh, and then my desk. Are you doing work at your desk? I actually do work at my desk. Yeah, does that <laughs> surprise you? It does, because I never thought, like, I never felt like Obama, I know Trump's not doing work at his desk, but I never <laughs> felt like Obama was doing work at his desk unless official signings. Or, it's just, I Well, know. this is, you know, not a, a ceremonial desk. This desk actually belongs to Chancellor Bowman, who built the cathedral. In the 20s? Yeah, the and so we found it and uh, refinished it. And the, what I love best about this desk, besides its history, is that I can, uh, hide my mess when I have visitors. <laughs> That's a nice feature. <laughs> Do you watch TV? I don't. I don't think that's been on since I've been here. You think a television will ever set up in here, like right on the mantelpiece? Uh, I don't, I'm not really a television person. You're not a TV person? I don't watch too much. Me neither. <laughs> well, here's a question for you. All right. How much of a say do you have in retiring a number? Not very much. Yeah, I don't want to have a lot of say in that. I'd like the athletics department to do that. I think the, it's a high bar, and they have a good sense of how high that is. Um, but, uh, and they certainly let me know when they're thinking about doing one. But Do you have to sign off? Uh, they don't, not formally, but they make sure there's no objection or a problem. Or, yeah. yeah. You ready uh, to go? Where are we heading? Uh, I'm up for whatever you want. I brought my bike. I don't know if you're up for that. Or you could do anything. Well, that sounds better than this. This is Frenchies. It's great. Yeah. What is your drink of choice? We should be drinking energy drinks since we're working out so aggressively, I think. An energy drink? Yeah. Like what? No, no, not like that. Oh, not just like no, that. Just like uh, Gatorade. Some athletic. So Gatorade over Powerade? <laughs> Which one does Pitt endorse? Well, I'm going to go it? by the uh, size of the bottle. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I have a question for you. Okay. What are your thoughts on Greek life? Do you think it's a good thing? for a school? Do you think it's a bad thing for a school? What do you think Greek life's place is at a place like Pitt? I think it's been a big part of Pitt for a long time and it can be um, it can be a very positive thing. Yeah. There's a set of communities that um, 
you can enrich the experience. It's not for everybody, but for those that right. it's for, it's great. As long as it's done the right way, it's done the fun. That's yeah. Like, it, like all things in life, if it's done right, it's uh, it's a it's a good thing. You know, we always tell the incoming freshmen, you've got to get involved. That's right. the most important right, thing right. because those networks that you form are some of the most important things that you take away from your time right. uh, at Pitt. And um, uh, I think, you know, Greek life is a great way to form one of those communities. The, the one danger is if that becomes your only community, right. that, that, it, that it uh, isolates you. So, but if you use that as a platform to go off and do other things, then that's great. Hey, the Pitt, what are you doing? Heather, what are you doing here? Welcome, welcome to Frenchies. Aren't you the athletic director now? We just sort of do it all. Chancellor. Well, we may not <laughs> be working hard other? enough <laughs> if you're finding time to moonlight here. It's just a part-time job <laughs> until you get started. Whatever it takes. We'll take two Gatorade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do it because cash is the thing of the past. All right. So have, have you, you learned this yet? I have, I'm, I'm learning. First on day the job. on the job. This is my first day on the job. It's a virtual. Uh, maybe you don't want to use. Maybe you should use Jesse's card then. Yeah. Just yeah, it up. It's coming out of my tuition. Coming out of your tuition. Right out of the tuition. For the athletic. Department. Why don't you guys uh, promise to come to a game and we'll, uh, you can have the Gatorades on us what? today. I can't promise, but thank you no, so no, much. No, that's a promise. <laughs> oh, that's a, prom promise. Oh. It's a promise. We're going to lunch. You want to join us? They say I got to learn, but nobody's here to teach me. If they can't understand it, how can they reach me? Have you been in this area of South Oakland? Yeah. What do you think? It's uh, it's part of Pitt, you know, in a funny way, right? I mean, the, the experience, yeah. Right. It's gotten a lot better than when I was a student here. This, uh, it was pretty rough. What was your college experience like, like as a, uh, you played softball, so as an athlete? Is it a much different experience than if you're a, a normal student? I lived in the dorms and um, as a freshman, and then I uh, I rushed into a sorority as a sophomore. Oh, only, so you did pre -court. Only because um, it was a way to make a different set of friends. Yeah. You know, because I knew that, you know, I probably wasn't going to go there's a softball house, and did I want to, you know, 24-7, 365 days, only have softball friends. So yeah. I wanted to diversify, you know, I don't know, just build different friendships. What about your spring breaks? Did you go anywhere exotic? Cabo? Cancun? As a student? Um, one year we drove down to... Um, that's a thing. South Padre Island. Where is that? In oh, Texas, yeah. yeah. It's that's on the deal. Gulf Coast. So in the middle part of the country, that was the closest coast. It was a long drive, though. It was from, from Kansas down there, 23 hour drive or something. All right, you want to go into Sorrento's? Sounds great. Let's do it. big thing at Pitt that uh, people talk about is obviously the stadium on campus. If you were even into that idea of having a stadium on campus, what would be the steps you take to make something like that happen? <laughs> well, land is a big one here. You know. right. What about Panther Hollow? I mean, I'm not pitching the idea to you. It's more just if you are interested in that idea, is it is it a 10-year process? Is it, what is that? Who greenlights that other than you two and the board of trustees? That's about the right group, but it's, um, you know, what happens around any of those major facilities is it's a big cross-cutting effort. It has to make sense on all sorts of levels um, from the financial perspective and from the operational perspective and in a tight urban environment from the land use perspective. Yeah. And, a football stadium gets used, you know, six, seven times a year, and, uh, and it takes an enormous amount of. We well, have concerts, right? You have concerts. You have. But there's parking. There's the impact on the community. Right. Um, if you look at some of the major stadium efforts going on around the country, and look at Philly and Temple, and you know what you see, it's a ma You know, you have to build an enormous amount of consensus across a very broad state. Yeah. And so. Um, Laying that groundwork takes a long time. Oh, yeah. What did you learn at Eastern Michigan um, that 
I mean, you're very much someone who takes initiative. I, you bought passports for the team before you knew what role you were going to. What do you take from that job and bring to a setting like Pitt? The combination of all of your experiences that I've had, you know, being at a place that um, is probably very low resource in the scale of, of MBS schools, um, you know, it's, it's very similar to what we do, it's just right. on a different scale. Um, I think it's about building relationships on campus, building relationships with uh, coaches, building a team of yeah. people that can create a culture where winning is expected. I just bet the gray field won't be coming along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, you know, about being innovative right. and helping build an identity. I think you should share some of your, what are your, what would be your big ideas, Jason? Yeah. Some of my big ideas for Pitt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Pitt would benefit from utilizing visual media. If we're being honest, I, I think yeah. Pitt is at its best when it's showing off what it does best. And mm -hmm. the best way to do that is through storytelling. And the best storytelling in 2017 is to use visual media. I think you use televisions like the ACC network. Mm -hmm. I think you build a giant television facility at the top of the cathedral. Uh, and you add a couple floors, uh, and then you uh, and then you call it a day. Do you, as a former athlete? Uh, well, actually, I'll hear. I want to hear your opinion on this first. You can't ask me a former athlete yeah, question. As a non-former athlete. He's a biker. As a current biker, how do you feel uh, about college athletes being paid? My view is it would uh, it wouldn't be college athletics. It would be a pro or semi-pro league that's affiliated with the school would be an entirely different thing. And I know you're you're not a fan of the idea of paying them either, right? I, you know, I'm not. I, I, I do believe that, that it would not be college athletics as we know it. It would right. change significantly. Um, what about and stipends? I, you know, I, I, no, I, I think the, the value of what they get as far as an education and, you know, we did move up things to the cost of attendance and, you know, all the benefits that they get as far as travel and and right. these sorts of things. I mean, there's a tremendous value. They're coming out of college debt free if they're on an athlete, you know, on a full athletic scholarship. Right. Um, and they have unbelievable coaching and you know, strength coaches and all those types of things around them. I think there's a great value in what you're getting. I, yeah. I don't think I think paying them changes the whole dynamics of, of how we look at them. All right. Wonderful. Oh, there wow. Is. All right. It. We are the first sober people to ever eat this. So <laughs> dig in. When you look at your department or your office or the university as a whole, and you compare that to the White House and maybe how the current White House is being run right now or how it's been in the past. Are you proud of the way things are being run here? What are your thoughts when you see the nation's highest government being run in the way that it is? Well, I think, um, I mean, the honest answer is I, you know, I want to be better at communicating. <laughs> um, I, I don't, th I mean, that's been the one, the one issue. I, I think um, the role of, of leadership for the university is to stand for everybody that's at the university and so you know you have to communicate and, and stand for values that are as inclusive as possible yeah um, so um, there's been too much of a tendency to want to draw distinctions and make you know divisive comments instead of right so um, that's one place where I would I would hope we're doing uh, a better job is not as good, I might add, though, for the late night TV business. So I, I feel like I'm letting you down a little bit by not giving you a lot of scandal and, and uh, No, you material. might need to hire like a, a Spicer type. Just a couple Spicer. tweets, maybe, get, get, get you going. I'm going to just do a speed round. Your favorite drink? Hot chocolate. Coffee. <laughs> Because it keeps me alive. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite movie? Oh, uh, remember the Titans? Oh. I'll pass. I don't know. Don't pass. I'm gonna pass. There's so many. Can I call a friend? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite place to dance? Um. Favorite place to dance? I don't go dancing that much. Sorry about that. Um, it could be your bedroom. Uh, it could be your living room. It could be your. 
uh, local you know, kind bar. of New Year's Eve party. We go, we do a traditional New Year's Eve party. We always dance on New Year's Eve. So New Year's Eve, Congress Lake. Mm-hmm. Rear do window. Dance? I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite food? Sorrento's pizza. No. <laughs> I mean, I, come on, uh, pasta with clams. Ooh. Red red clams. I'm a New Mexico guy, so green chili enchiladas from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Now that you are in a pretty comfortable position you know, as a chancellor, as an athletic director, what advice are you giving yourself as you enter college or as you leave college? I would say take advantage of the opportunities on campus as much as possible. You know, um, try to diversify your gravitate to things that you might not be comfortable you know I mean you know right. try to meet a variety of people across campus I would also say build relationships with your faculty and I probably didn't do that till I was in law school and you know one of my closest mentors is, is one of my law professors and I, I just didn't do that as much on campus when I was a college student yeah I was very distracted you know a lot of things going on but um, probably in hindsight I think that would be advice that I would give because they want to help you and right. they've seen a lot more than you have up until this point. What is one decision you've had to make in your life that was either really hard to make or that you regret? Probably coming on your show, Jesse. <laughs> I, was, I hope I don't regret it. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Like that forever, because that's a prime spot for a television studio.